hey welcome to my channel and today i like to show you an um, older magazine it's a uh, golden hand 1970s uh, there is uh, there in the magazine is seven scarves knitting crocheting and copying patterns what I like about this magazine, he's been uh, in very good shape. It's not being uh, exposed to the weather and changes. And uh, what I like about this, there are certain things inside that I can, I like to use. Wonderful, beautiful name, Golden Hands, uh, and the woman smiling, and the cost. It cost 95 cents. What we can buy today for 95 cents? Well, <clears throat> you have a dollar and you can have a change 5 cents. I want to see you right away on the back that you can see the um, magazines. And I want to open here. On the left side, you have all... Uh, 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 written there what uh, it's inside the magazine and on the right side you have pattern of dragon and what I do I don't know how to draw anything so I copy usually images for my applique this uh, um, interesting and uh, uh, many times I'm looking to cover the stains or to make some shape or to make toys and I like different shape of applique because as I mentioned before I don't know how to <clears throat> draw animals or anything I work only on the patterns old ones new ones copy the clothing inventing something but i don't know how to draw a not a painter so i don't know how to make from the beginning so i do use uh, images <clears throat> from the web that i'm looking for and something that uh, appealing to my eye you know as uh, you designers so um this is what I'm using for. I'm just sharing with you the magazine, an interesting part, bear with me and be patient, I will show you later. Here I think it's knitting. I have somewhere uh, in my stash exactly the same, uh, the, uh, the same uh, old the, uh, picture that you saw, uh, uh, on the blanket I'm looking here the dates and the date the last date there there it's 1972 so I'm assuming it's 72 or maybe 74 uh, but not later on <clears throat> so this blank blank blanket it's very interesting cover or uh, uh, whatever it is uh, uh, that you can use and there is instructions there um, <clears throat> I love this because it's not hard to do and uh, it's uh, not challenge big challenge it's uh, instructions and very easy to follow so I did something similar uh, of the crocheting dollies when I was younger I remember in this kind of uh, uh, yeah I do so um, interesting colors interesting design of the colors I mean and uh, if you like on the left side you just stop the video and you can go take a clear paper or paper that you can see through and you can copy <clears throat> those flowers if you like <clears throat> this is what I do. I find something that interesting. I stop on the screen the images and I go and I copy right away from the TV screen 
that um, I'm looking for. Many times uh, I have imagination, but sometimes I am stuck. So when you stuck and there is no development in the designing, so I do use uh, different images, uh, somebody else's images to create my own. There is no forbidden about that, so um, um, <laughs> I can use this freely. And I will advise you, if you're looking to do something, to create something, you can use uh, somebody else's images. Here's crocheting scarves, knitting scarves, doing different uh, um, um, variations of not just colors, different variations of uh, <clears throat> crocheting and knitting and uh, the other different things for scarves. I don't wear scarves and like them. What I see here, it looks like Tunisian uh, crocheting and uh, uh, I'm not wearing glasses now so I don't see but let me see that and it does say that it is Tunisian crocheting, Tunisian it's Arabic country and this is the uh, method and the way they are very strange though, I never tried it, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm crocheting so many years, but I didn't try the way that they crochet. Here's an apple, and <clears throat> I have people that come in for alteration and asking apple, asking animal images, asking hearts, asking lips, asking different things. And I'm going to repeat myself and say, I don't know how to draw with the pencils, you know, so <clears throat> I use pencils, but I don't know how to make images, how to create from the zero. So I do copy images of somebody else that did the work. And it's for me, it's easy things to do. It's cutting myself time to thinking or to struggling. I love those flowers, unbelievable, gorgeous. Here I came to a very interesting part. I start uh, a little uh, making toys, making toys uh, that uh, I am uh, trying to help my Ukraine and uh, I'm selling those toys and uh, uh, I'm sending the money over abroad. So uh, this bear is very small it's really tiny. It's about three inches, two and a half, three inches uh, height. So what I do is, uh, I, um, if I didn't have this magazine, I will try to make this bear, but if I didn't have this magazine, I will probably look for somebody that, uh, that uh, has the pattern and I will copy from my TV screen. I will stop it and I will copy for my TV screen. This is how I'm giving you the opportunity. Take a paper, take a pencil, go and copy. This is video for you. I'm sharing with you. Go and make those bears. The tiny ones you can make from any fabric that you desire. You can put heart on the back. You can put shiny things on the ears. You can put in the front of the belly uh, the um, uh, name. And uh, I'm just trying to share with you how creative you can be. This is my hobby found me those small tiny buttons my hand small i am very small woman and uh, i'm looking for uh, an animal that i uh, did create and i want to show you uh, where i use those buttons um, not every time you can sometimes not everyone has the financial can allow themselves or uh, <clears throat> have stores around so you can be creative i'm using a lot of beads you know so uh, i've been given by the neighbors they know that i am making things so um 
I'm showing you the black color on the eye you can on the eyes you can put you can put blue if you like uh, some people has blue eyes some people has green eyes this is the mouse that I try to create you know <laughs> this is my first attempt and I'm showing you the eye the eye on the side of these buttons the small buttons I want to show you how small it is. It's around four inches, and I apologize. It's four inches bare. Yes, and here it comes uh, two, two inches high. You can do the curve uh, from the beginning and the end. I did the same curve, and then with the uh, <laughs> shaking <coughs> this, because inside I put some... <laughs> toy for try to make toy for cats animals that they can play with I put something that makes noise inside the toy um, but I'm sure showed you the eye that I uh, saw on the uh, mouse that uh, it's not uh, exact the eye that you can see in the bear so you can be creative, or if you don't have buttons, if you don't have uh, uh, any beads, you can use simple, uh, just with needle and thread, you can create. In the ear, I will put something shine. If I have old earrings, I will hang on this bear. On his foot, I would put either a letter of the name or heart uh, or lips. Uh, you can be very, very creative if you wanted to. Oh my God, I was a little girl, and they have different. We have different kind of uh, things in Ukraine. I did make this kind, but it was made from uh, different uh, uh, materials for me. Here, I want to show you the. Oh, the flowers, I'm going back here, and I want to show you uh, the pattern of the underdress. This is dress that you're wearing under the clear, nice chiffon fabric. And this magazine gives you the opportunity to uh, create by yourself the pattern pieces. Well, it's easy to buy them if they would have them by the paper inside the magazine i would appreciate but to start uh, create them from the beginning in my age i don't think so so but i love uh, the um, dresses and they gives me ideas uh, in the future um, the way that it's been sewn the way that it's been lace added so i can continue and working on my creations and uh, I do read and I do follow some of the instructions but the pattern I rather to use to buy pattern and to use the one that uh, in stores and uh, I don't need to struggle because for me it will be struggle start from the beginning drawing the pattern well here I showed you some magazine well it's a spring already officially and i hope you enjoy it put the likes don't be shy to subscribe to sign up write me comments below what kind of magazines do you have what kind of ways you are creative and you're trying to develop yourself as a sewist as a tailor as a dressmaker as a pattern maker as how you designing anything or everything participate share with me don't forget to subscribe it is very important people are not taking seriously i need more audience to continue developing my channel it's very important for person to see the support well see you next